And speaking of Jesus, the scriptures say all things were made through him, and without him, nothing was made that was made. He made everything. That includes food. His credentials pass the test. We will therefore take note of what he said about food if we know what's good for us. There are a total of nine foods that Jesus ate or recommended. Let's run through five of them and look at their health benefits. Number one, eggs. In Luke 11, Jesus said that eggs were good food to give to children. Six eggs a day, every day. You eat six eggs a day? Every day. Uh, the whites of eggs. So you separate them? Yes. There was a time when experts vilified eggs, but they changed their mind. Harvard University found that eating one egg per day was associated with an 18% reduced risk of breast cancer. They contain HDL, which is known as the good cholesterol. Number two, butter. Jesus ate butter. And speaking of the promised Messiah, the scriptures say, Behold, a virgin shall conceive and bear a son, and shall call his name Emmanuel. Butter and honey shall he eat. In an article titled, Is Butter Really Back? Harvard Public Medical Health magazine quoted the New York Times, saying they rhapsodized, Butter is back. Julia Child, goddess of fat, is beaming somewhere. Butter? Butter. 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 Do you eat butter? I'm sorry? Do you eat butter? Butter? Butter. I really don't. Do you eat butter? Not normally, no. There was a time when experts vilified butter, but they've changed their minds. According to WebMD, butter can help lower your chances of cancer. It's high in beta carotene, a compound that your body converts to vitamin A. Beta carotene has been linked to lower risks of lung cancer and prostate cancer. In a well-researched article called Why is Butter Better, it stated, many of the saturated fats in butter have strong anti-cancer properties. Number three, honey. As we've seen, the famous passage in Isaiah 9 also tells us that Jesus ate honey. Did you know that honey's the only food that never spoils? Did you also know that viruses cannot live in honey? Among many other health benefits, it promotes heart health because of its positive effects on lowering blood pressure, cholesterol, and triglyceride levels. Number four, lamb. According to Luke 22, verses seven to eight, Jesus ate lamb at the Passover meal. There are many health benefits from eating lamb. One of them is that it's a rich source of folic acid, which is very important for the development of babies, preventing defects in newborns. Number five, fish. After Jesus rose from the dead, he appeared to his disciples and asked if they had any food. The scriptures say, so they gave him a piece of a broiled fish and some honeycomb, and he took it and ate it in their presence. Once again, with foods that Jesus ate, there are many health benefits from eating fish. One of them is that it reduces the risk of heart attacks and strokes, which are the two causes of premature deaths in the world. One particular study of 40,000 men in the US who had at least one serving of fish a week showed a decrease of 15% in heart disease. American Heart Association recommends two servings of fish per week. Number six is salt. Jesus said, salt is good. Salt, which is categorized as a food, has been vilified for many years, but Jesus said that it's good and there's no greater recommendation. Your body needs salt because it helps regulate fluid levels and blood pressure, plus it's essential for muscle and nerve function. Number seven, Jesus recommended veal when he told the story of the prodigal son. How should the father best celebrate the return of his son? By killing the fatted calf. Veal is enriched with vitamin B, which is essential for energy and a healthy metabolism. It's also a rich source of vitamin B12, thymine, riboflavin, and niacin. Number eight, Jesus highly recommended figs when he hungered for some. Any food chain is going to leap for joy if a famous person publicly says that he or she hungers after their food. That's a pure gold endorsement that can't be bought. Figs are rich in fiber, and eating them can give us a sensation of satisfaction during those gaps between meals. They're rich in copper and vitamin B6. Vitamin B6 is important for the creation of new proteins and for keeping brain health. They improve blood pressure, and blood fat levels, decreasing the risk of heart disease. 
And number nine, Jesus not only recommended and ate bread, he taught his disciples to ask God for a daily supply. Give us this day our daily bread. He also multiplied five loaves to give fresh bread to 5,000 hungry people. Whole grain bread is linked to many health benefits. The Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health found that those who ate 70 grams of whole grains per day had 22% lower risk of premature death and 20% lower risk of death from cancer compared to those who consumed little or no whole grains. Do you know that Jesus ate or recommended nine foods? Nine foods? Yeah. Do you know what they are? Not offhand. Would you be interested to know yeah. what he recommended? Yeah. He ate butter. Butter? You, yeah, he ate butter. He ate honey. I eat honey. You eat honey? Yeah, I said, I Do you know food. why it's good for you? It's one of these foods that never really goes bad. Can I give you a book that I wrote? Absolutely. This man was adamant that he didn't want me to give him any literature. Let me get it and show you, okay? A bunch of Jehovah's Witnesses go to my house and I, I, I don't like to lie to them. I tell them, don't, don't give me this paper. I don't want to waste this paper. I recycle it. You know, don't, I'm just going to throw it away. So the nine foods that Jesus ate and recommended. Well, I think I actually am going to read this. Do you think you'll read it? Yes, 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 I will. Can I give you a gift? It's a book called The Ultimate Health Foods. It's nine foods that Jesus ate and recommended. I wrote that book. I'd like oh. to give it to you. Do you think you'll read it? Yeah. I'm actually on the health kick, so I can definitely check this out. This book, which contains a thorough gospel presentation, is available at very low bulk prices at livingwaters.com, so you too can give them away. And just so you know, when these books sell through our ministry, I personally don't make any money off sales. If you want to order a copy of this book or order it in bulk, just click on the link below. One more thing, and please listen, this is so important, I'll only take a minute. Doesn't matter how healthy we become, we're going to die anyway. And after this, the judgment. We have to stand before a holy God. And Jesus said, if you as much as look with lust, you've committed adultery in your heart. God has seen your thought life, and every time you've sinned in lying or stealing or blasphemy or bitterness or anger, you've stored up his wrath that's going to come out on judgment day. And the scriptures say God is not willing that any should perish. He takes no pleasure in the death of the wicked. He doesn't want you to go to hell. He's provided a savior in Jesus Christ who suffered and died on that cross. God commended his love toward us and that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He took our punishment so we could walk free. Then he rose from the dead, defeated death. And if you'll simply repent and trust in him, not your goodness, but trust in him, you've got a promise from the God who cannot lie. He'll grant you everlasting life as a free gift. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification bell and make sure you don't miss the Living Waters podcast.